Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound Li2S. Now, if you have two elements, right, in this case we have two elements, we have Li, which is lithium, and S, which is sulfur, one has to be a metal and one has to be a nonmetal, right? That's what ionic compounds are all about if you have two elements. So lithium, if I look at lithium on the periodic table, lithium's over here. It's the metal, right? All of group one are metals except for hydrogen, which is at the top. Hydrogen is a nonmetal. If we're coming over to sulfur, right, and maybe I'll just highlight this. So lithium is blue, right? And sulfur is going to be the nonmetal because sulfur lives over here. And that, you know, corresponds to where the nonmetals are on the periodic table. So now all we have to do is use our rules to get the name. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So this was lithium. So I'm just going to write down lithium. Okay. The sulfur, which is the nonmetal, that name always gets the I-D-E ending. So it's not going to be sulfur, it's going to be sulfide. So you get rid of the U-R and it just becomes sulfide. Now, just do one last check, just to make sure we don't need any Roman numerals. Only transition metals, we need Roman numerals, which is like this little block over here. But since lithium's over here, group one, we don't need a Roman numeral, and you're done. This is your final answer. So Li2S is lithium sulfide. Hopefully this helped, guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and let me know in the comments how you guys are doing, all right? Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.